Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Lambert and Rewired Addiction. Um, a lot of people struggling right now. It's 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 one of those times. You know, I was I've never experienced anything like what COVID nineteen has brought to us. You know, in my whole lifetime, which I'm not saying that's a lot because it's I'm only 32 years old, but I've gone through quite a bit, and I, I've never seen anything like this. That being said. A lot of people need help. A lot of people need somewhere to go, someone to talk to, to help guide and steer them and have been in their shoes before. And that's why I have a Discord. It's a chat room where people who are needing help and are wanting to be plugged in remotely to a recovery group of people. I mean, we are social creatures. We need each other. We need connection. Without connection, you know, we're going to end up self-destructing. I remember watching that everything we know about addiction is wrong video. And I'm thinking, okay, well, this guy's saying some stuff that's probably controversial. And it was. But the root, the heart of the whole thing. I think the reason that they send professors into 12-step groups and stuff is to see the psychology of how this works. And ultimately, the unity of a group of people is stronger than one. And it always has been in all of history with arm armies that are fighting battles, you know, unified together, they're stronger and there's power in numbers. And so being in a group, a social structure where everyone has a similar mission and goal, and that is the point of getting to the point where our life becomes better without the use of drugs or alcohol. This is the same reason it works for people who have addictions to gambling gambling you don't have to take any drugs and yet you are still addicted why and that's i think it comes down to the chemical releases of course through the actions that we do in gambling but people go to meetings and get locked into recovery groups so they could stop gambling and it's not necessarily just the drug there's more to it a lot more in fact when i stopped doing the drugs it was a pain in the butt. Life was a little rough. I mean, I was depressed. You know, I needed I needed something to latch on to. And it was pretty much my faith in other humans who say they've made it with me seeing their face showing that they don't look like they're using drugs. They look like their life is getting better. But I couldn't 100% say I had to believe that they were clean, that they were doing better. And that belief in that other person for me it's what led me into the path of saying, I can do this. So I kept plugging into those people. Anyway, this is very important, but I will say up front, the first thing is getting the chemicals out. So separating oneself from the environment they're in is, is almost mandatory for the success to take place. I don't suggest doing this on your own. I don't suggest doing this at home. I do suggest getting help, especially when you're on fentanyl and coke and all these other chemicals that keep us trapped physically or our brain and body continues to latch onto them where we can't let go. And going to a medical professional is very important. So now I have my number. You guys can text me if you need rehab or resources, text me. I don't have time to be able to message everyone because I am working full time now. Uh, but you guys are more than happy to text me and let me know if you guys need help with rehab or any treatment options because I've got connections across the U.S. As far as getting recovery and going into meetings and stuff and trying to hold on to long term recovery, you guys go into my discord. So. I figure I'd make this little video for all of you wondering, like, just a little bit of information. I might be preaching to the choir a little here for some of you guys who are in recovery, but this is how I got clean. If you guys watch where I was seven and then I was 30 days and I was excited and I was happy, that's because I was plugged into other people's energy. I was plugged into other people's success, other people, you know, being connected to a group of people who are praising me when I did good and encouraged me when I did things that might have steered me off the path. I didn't relapse. I've done that many times in the past, but the latest time I was doing stupid stuff. My hormones kicked back in. I thought I'd go to the bar to pick up girls. I wasn't right in my mind. And, you know, I've got a dying piece for a wife. Like, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking normal. Of course, I wasn't used to having hormones either. But the point is, is the sponsor guys and people in those rooms were looking at me going, dude, do you really want me to tell you what's right and wrong? You know what you're doing isn't right. I don't have to tell you that. You know that in your heart. You know what you got to do. So I'd go and I'd make uh, amends to the wife and apologize or 
to someone else throughout my time. And that's what I've continued doing. I just practice the same principles and I continue doing that in my whole life and try to be forgiving. Let go of stuff easy. Don't hold on to it. Don't let it burden you and remain on your shoulders. You are only a human. And so that being said, I love you. And Here's the little snippet, just plugging myself back in. I plan to do some lives with you guys, get you guys to come jump on, hang out. We'll do some more videos and stuff. And uh, and uh, let me know what you guys think, man. I appreciate it. Uh, text me, like I said, if you need rehab or treatment options. That number's down in the description and the Discord. All right, guys, I love you. Rewired Addiction, Derek Lambert.